Stay connected anyway. We left all that behind. Smog, schoolyard weapons inspections, toxic tap water, noisy neighbors. Riverside Park, Columbia Bay. <gasps> Column, I. <gasps> it's a sign, honey, that we are leaving the old life behind, and you won't regret it. You have a choice. You can either stop this car right this minute. Or you can spend the rest of your married life sleeping alone. Kennedy Homeland, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? So, people actually lived here? Yeah. It's been a while, but it'll spruce up good as new. You wait and see. How? Let's get the luggage. I think we've got to stay here till Daddy writes his book. Wait for me, huh? Don't say a word. I want to see if I remember any of it. Dogs. Irish wolfhounds. I'd rather have a PlayStation.
better kiss them goodnight before they change their mind. What are you looking at? I, um, I was just wondering what, you know, you did with the old guest house out there. Maybe, maybe they got stuff stored out there, you know, antiques or something. Honey, we're not in the realm of antiques here. Probably just find some more rocks. Do you recognize them? You mean my mom and dad? It's like I do and I don't. I mean, you don't have to remember your parents to know that you love them. Thanks, Stella. I, uh, I'm hoping I didn't bring us all over to find out there's nothing worth writing about. No. It's going to be interesting whatever you write, okay? You'll make it interesting. All right, you know, Stella, I got to tell you, I get these images, right? see these things now I have no idea whether I'm remembering something or I'm just imagining it all well that's what your book is about right how much of the past is given to us and how much we make up ourselves you know You know where your home is, don't you, girl? Wow, did I feel terrific when I woke up this morning. Not a sound of a moving car, not a beep out of the trash truck. No, but now we have roosters to wake us up. Hey, did you hear that? What? Listen. Cullum, we're in the forest. Things live in the forest. It's only natural that you're going to hear noise. No, it feels completely different. This feels strange, but it... You mean like us? I've been trying to tell you that since we got here. Yeah. Oh. Ow! Jesus, Stella, what the hell are you doing? You're right, Colum. This place sure does make me feel a little, uh... <laughs> oh, God damn it! I mean, you have to act like an animal. Stella. No, it's not paradise, Sarah. It's not even New Jersey. It's like, it's rural, rustic. I mean, but if it helps him write his book and, and stop his moping. Ooh, I want to kiss myself. <laughs> 
Well, Roy, I just like to know who's buying me my drinks. <laughs> God, I almost lost you. Shoot, go on, go on, get out of here. You're scaring people. Jesus. What kind of people let dogs like that run loose? Well, they run free like that here, honey. I don't think she'd hurt the kids or anything. Fluffy only likes doggies when they're nice to her, Mommy. You, on the other hand, she doesn't like you at all. That's great. Very funny. Daddy? I'm sorry, honey. How would you guys like to hear the story my Aunt Agnes used to tell about the Irish wolfhounds? Kind of like the doggie you saw today. Who were the first doggies in the whole world. Kind of like Adam and Eve. Want to hear it? Well, they were very beautiful, very magical dogs. And one day they came down from the hills to live in the castle with the king and the queen. Now, the king, he thought they were normal dogs. Oh, he was wrong. Because they could turn into humans any time they chose. And one day, the boy dog turned into a handsome prince, who was so handsome and so noble that the queen fell right in love with him. When the king found out, oh, uh oh, he banished the dogs forever. And that's why they say the wild dogs around here aren't just dogs. They're royalty. And you have to treat them with respect. Do I have to bow, Daddy? Yeah, but just a little bow with your head like this. Oh, she wrote. Colleen Jess. Oh. Sloan, Moira. Oh. Well, what can we do you for? Oh, um, is there any other shop here in town? There's a new supermarket about 40 miles up the Dublin Road, but if it's fruit and veg you're after, there's a store behind the back of the pub in the mornings. And if it's fresh coffee you're after, we have that too. How did you know I was looking for fresh coffee? A little bar told me. Ah. Um, is there any way to get the paper? Oh, deliver the Times to your door. Not the New York Times. The New York Times. Never heard of it. Not <laughs> <laughs> the Dungarry Times, dear. It has all the movie listings for the new Cineplex. Oh, and where's the new Cineplex? Oh, it's about 40 miles up, up the, the Dublin, Dublin Road. Road. <laughs> 
place is weird. Can we go now? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can go. We have to go. Um, but thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, Michael, let's go. Come on. Bye. <laughs> Excuse me. This is where they keep the city records? Colin Kennedy. Something told me you'd be showing up. No, the only Americans we usually guess are those inwardly aching genealogy types. You know, people searching for their pasts, long lost relatives any fairy kingdoms they might have inherited, you know, that sort of thing. That would be me. Oh, no. You're not trying to invent some connection with your homeland. You've already got one. Now, let's see what we can find, shall we? Well, there's no entry in the registration book for your parents, I'm afraid. You're trying to tell me they weren't originally from around here? No, like yourself, they had distant family relations here, cousins. And in about 62 or so, I'd say, the house became vacant and we contacted them and we moved them up here. We? Well, <laughs> most of us in Wolf's Head have um, family connections that go way, way back. You know, that's one of the nice things about Wolf's Head Column. Nothing much changes here. I guess that might seem like one of the horrible things as well. do anything like that again. Do you understand me? Never! Funny how much anger you can have towards someone you love, isn't it? Yeah, um, thanks for grabbing her. Love and hate are sort of interconnected, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Thanks. Bitch. I love you. 
Are you crazy? I have children inside here. Yeah, well, tell your children to keep their heads down, because I'm not finished yet. And you're new. My parents own this place. Your p you're the Kennedy baby. Famous Kennedy baby. What brings you here? I came back here to write a book. Of course you did. Of course you did. You're the Kennedy baby. You came back. You're big. You're a big man. I've got something to show you. Come here. You're going to love this. You're going to love it. Come on. Come on. You're going to love this. Yeah, but hey, what about my parents? What were they like? They were like parents. How the hell would I know they were like everybody else around here? Maybe more so. Yeah, but did you hang out with them? Did you eat with them? What do you think about it? Listen, I don't hang about too much if I don't have to. Oh, you're gonna love what I've got for you. Come on! Oh, the young Kennedy. I'm not let's do it again. I had to be someone. There you go, Kennedy. All yours. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Chains, huh? Chains. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard about you kinky country types. <laughs> I have a lot of you in New York. You're not in New York now. You're your heritage, son. Your parents wanted you to have them. Right. Go and pick them up. They belong to your daddy. Them kinky chains. Aye. Go and pick them up. Feel them. They're talking to you, son. They're talking to you. Can you hear them? The voice of your daddy. The voice of this place talking to you. Reminding you who you are. You forgot, didn't you? Your inheritance. The chains. Do you not remember who you are, son? You're one of us. You belong here. You're supposed to be running free like us. Pick them up! For when you remember who you are, you're going to be screaming out, yes, yes, yes. And then the chains will come in handy for the times when it's time to say no, no, no. Otherwise, you're a dead man. Now get out of here. Take them chains with you. Enjoy. You know, some parents leave their kids wedding rings or stocks and bonds. But it really takes a set of manacles to say, we love you, son. <laughs> Carry on the family name. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, well, you know, I don't even know if I believe the guy. <laughs> I mean, these are like really strange. Yeah, they are. Want to try them? No. <laughs> but you know what? I have some bad news. Um, I found more. Or what, these? Yeah. Where? Out in that shed. Well, I found the key under the stoop, a little WD-40, and presto!
<laughs> this explains so much. Oh my god, you know what? I think I actually know what that is. I think it's um an ancient Irish form of twister. <laughs> They were your parents, Carl. You know, you can't be judgmental about your parents. Yes, honey? Has Daddy gone to play with the doggies? No, honey. Go back to bed.
Here's your daddy. Daddy! Hey. You didn't know where you were. I told Mommy the white doggy would protect you. But you have to bow, Daddy, because she's the queen. Yeah, well. Breakfast is ready if you want it. Daddy went for a little walk to think about his book. When Daddy writes his book, we get to go home. Sport, this is your home. Write your book, Daddy. Your book, write your book, Daddy. Now, write your book so we can go home. Look, I think I'm just going to go in there and lie down for a little bit. I'm sorry, I just got wrapped up in myself. Oh, what else is new? Daddy smells. Okay, you guys, why don't you go in the other room and get your coloring books and do some coloring? Oh dear, how are you getting on? Um, okay. Oh my God, the New York Times? <laughs> oh my God. The last time I read this, I was sitting in a Starbucks on 81st Street. <laughs> Don't ask me where I got it. Just say it fell off the back of a lorry. <laughs> uh, it's the old world out here, dear. It's not that the people mean to be unfriendly. It's just that they go about living a little different. <sighs> All I do is think about driving to the nearest airport. <laughs> I keep packing the bags and putting them in the car. <laughs> the kids don't even notice anymore. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Any coffee? Yeah. You can steam roast it and shove it up your ass. I'm afraid I'm very new world. <laughs> I know that, dear. <laughs> yeah, hi, I'm Carl. I know who you are. Last time I saw you, you were lying there on the floor, pulling at your willy like a bit of elastic. <laughs> Nothing's changed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, this has been just great. And um, I'm sure that we'll get together soon to visit and all. But right now, I have to get back to my word processor. Honey, I wouldn't believe what I'm working on. It's going really good. It's going good. I got to get back to work. You know, what I loved about him was that he really used to talk a good game. <laughs> It must be the Irish in you. <laughs> no, my father's a rabbi in Rockville. Oh, we have Irish Jews here too, dear. Really? <laughs> what you need to do is meet a few people. Come on down to the pub tonight and we'll have a few pints. A bit of crack. It's going to be all right. Where's my girl? How are you, sweetheart? How are you? <laughs> Why don't you finish up that whiskey and you and me will go for a little walk? Finn, you're giving Stella here the wrong idea. Ah, uh, what would the right idea be, sweetheart? Finn, not in front of the out-of-towners. <laughs> out-of-towners? This lad's no out-of-towner. No, sure you're not? No, you're not. I knew your old fellow well, I knew him. Yeah, indeed. He used to go motorcycling with us many years ago. It's a pity. It's enough a pity, but he went a little wild. Feck off, Finn. Later, sweetheart. 
Some Moira? What was that guy talking about? We don't take too many photos here in Wolfset. But then again, we don't have too many babies either. Your parents were good people. But a baby can throw things off a bit. Your parents went a little unpredictable. A little bit wild. So much so that what? You see, this is where I come back to that basic question. How do two people in their late 20s die like that? There's no funeral, no obit. Huh? Oh, and everybody seems to know what happened to them. But nobody's telling me. All I can say is that you shouldn't judge anyone too harshly. We are all creatures of nature, dear. All you need to know is that your parents loved you very much. All right, all right, all right, all right, right. Jeez, to make two kangaroos down for your anti-ferris. Right, so, I promised a story, didn't I? Well, this story is a very old story, and it's about a rooster and a fox. I like foxes. Well, maybe because there's something a bit foxish about your disposition. I like roosters because we're in my dis... disposition. This disposition. Roosters, your disposition. Oh, no, no. No, no, I'd say now that you're more of a rabbit. Because there's something very soft and gentle about you. Now, about that story. Now, there was a Mr. Rooster and Mr. Fox. And one day, Mr. Fox came over to Mr. Rooster in the farmyard where he lived, because he often came over there and so on. And he said to Mr. Rooster, why, Rooster, there. So did you know that I'm a man of many talents? And the Rooster looked at him and he said, Yes, you a man of many talents. He said, You name me one. So the fox said to him, Well, he said, I can crow to the high heavens. And the whole world will hear me. And the Rooster looked at him and he said, You. He said, Sure, you're a fox. He said, You can't crow at all. He said, I'll show you some crowing. So he got all ready to crow. And he said, Oh, you just wait now, I'll give you some crow and then put hair on your chest. And he opens his mouth to crow, and the fox snatches him up. Oh, no. And just then, the farmer's wife came out of the house with a big, shiny, sharp carving knife. And she said to the fox, Oh, you dead fox. She says, What do you think you're doing with my rooster? And the rooster being a very clever rooster, whispered to the fox, Why, fox, you tell her that I'm your rooster now. And the fox could never give up the opportunity to brag. Opened his mouth to speak. And just as he opened his mouth, the rooster flew out of his mouth. And the farmer's wife came over with her knife and chopped up the fox's tail. And that is why foxes have such short <laughs> That's the way of the world, this love. Bite or be bitten. <laughs> now don't you go worrying about your old one and your old fella. Moira was right. 
They were good people. Bad things happen to good people. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bad things? <laughs> Lyra here, she's overcautious. Always was. She thinks you learned the truth. You'll head off back to wherever you're from. Yeah. And your wife there. Oh, no. She wouldn't understand. No way. <laughs> wouldn't understand what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, half a nut, No. Nah. It was no wild animal that did those things to them, you know. No. It wasn't. They did them things to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Just you don't go the way of your old fella, and she'll be sound. Yeah. Don't worry. I won't tell your wife. How are you, Moira? You need any help with that old house? You talk to me. Maybe we can plaster the walls together. Oh, really? Aye. All of them? McGrath. She wouldn't be interested in the likes of you. Stella is very new world. Yeah, and uh, my walls are well plastered, but thanks anyway. Jameson's face. I thought you'd be more the baby sham type. Do we have any baby sham, Finn? How's your hunting in the woods, boy -o? You find what you're looking for out there? Boys will be boys. Just let nature take its course. Your new world wife know that about you, collie boy. She know you're more old world than you're letting on.
tell you. Wolfhead boys can take care of themselves. Absolute angels. Well, you two are to find time. Come on. I'll take you home. No, really. I'm perfectly capable of finding my own way home. Oh. What's this? Feathers? Are you sure? Oh, my God. As if we don't have enough trouble with the rats already. Come on. Let's go. found it. These? Yeah, I found them. No. What you came here looking for. about what kind of animal daddy is right now, honey, okay? Again. 
Uh, hello? Hi. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm here to help. Oh, well, it's fine, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm sure you are. I... Okay. <laughs> Seamus, where are you? There's nothing wrong with nature, though. Okay, yeah, except I'm from Manhattan and we don't believe in nature, so... Okay, um, we believe in, in subways and... and Russian cabbies who, who drive like crazy and, and oh, and uh, really, really good Chinese who delivered right to the door and, oh, uh, we believe in keeping a lid on it in Manhattan. Okay. We'll finish this later. Right, don't get your knickers in a twist. Oh, Stella, kids, come on in. I'm so sorry for not calling. We, we're just barging in here. I'm uh... not at all. You're always welcome. When's Daddy coming? Have you come to stay over with me tonight? Yeah. Have you ever slept in an attic? No. No. Well, you run up that stairs and I'll be with you in a minute. <sighs> Say nothing. Come on in. You'll be okay. Now, I want you to sit down there and I'll go make us a nice cup of tea. You can tell me all about it. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Be all right. You know, it's... Because maybe it's just... never been right between us. You know, I mean... On paper, we're perfect. But there's always this part of him that he just has kept from me. And he works so hard, but he just uses that as an excuse to stay away from me. But... You know, I feel like I know him so well. Like, we're so close. But... I don't know him at all. He is a good man. Yeah, well, maybe I'm not a very good woman. Finish up your cup of tea there. And I'll go check on the kids. Where are you going? Sit down. Have a seat. Sit down. 
Thank you. People are always messing with me. It's what happens when you're the alpha male. All these betas come along, trying to take your place. Sit. Don't you understand? It's so easy. So terribly easy. <laughs> What are you talking about? It's McGrath. Oh, Jesus. He'll kill you if you try and fight him like this. And I need your help. I can help you find your true form, but you're going to have to find your own way back. It's okay to let off a little steam. Don't be disturbed. It's just the way things are. Oh, <laughs> 
Did you win, Black Donkey? Tell me who won. I am the winner. I'm always the winner. <laughs> Just like our old fella you are, just like him. That fella had that coming a long time, and you caught him on the hop, a long time. Won't you stay a little while longer? It always takes a little time to get accustomed to a new place. Don't go. Our ways may seem a little strange at first, but we're still your family. Daddy, are you coming home with us? I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Come on, let's go. Let's get out of here. Come on, honey, get in the car. You can run. You have a lot of explaining to do. But nothing changes in the old world. Right, listen, honey. Do me a favor and just get in the car. Run now. Let them go. Let them go. Everything is going to be okay now. 